Ah, uh, the great outdoors. So, um, yeah, that was a tutorial. And now that I have a class, um, I have some spells now. And, uh, you know, because I have all the uh, spell casting related skills, uh, I basically have all the starter spells. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take some time here to set up my hotkeys and uh, we'll be on our way, whichever direction that might be. Um, also, like I have some um, scrolls here. Um, Flash Bolt in particular is going to be pretty interesting to use. Uh, it's going to be handy, I should say, um, because I'm expecting to ha have my Magicka drained out fairly quickly, so that's going to help me out. Um, speaking of low Magicka, uh, the Goblin Shaman Staff is also going to help me out on that department. Um, but I am wielding my uh, dagger as a uh, quote-unquote primary weapon uh, because I'm expecting to um, use my uh, poisons a lot more frequently. Um, so my Magicka, my, my, uh, my rate of using Magicka should be fairly low. Uh, I think. Uh, it'll depend on my habits, I guess, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, might as well check on the rest of the gear. I have the Amulets of Kings, of course, which I can't be removed because it's a quest item. Um, I'll have to deliver it in order to get rid of it. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, other than that, I got some ingredients here, potions, my two scrolls, uh, Petty Soul Jam and some uh, jewelry here. Um, some of you might not recognize these items. I got the horse armor note. Uh, that's part of uh, one of the uh, downloadable contents from uh, Bethesda. The deep uh, frost crag uh, spire, which is a mage tower that's going to be uh, most likely my home for this character. I'm not too sure about the bloodstain note. Let me check it out real quick. Uh, oh, that might be the um, yeah. That's probably the um, evil lair type. Uh, yeah. Oh well. In any case. Um, where should I go from here? Um, let's see. Well, the typical route would be to cross the river and go inside that dungeon over there. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, why would I? I just got out of a uh, sewer slash dungeon slash cave um, type thing. So I'm just going to spend some time outside. It's a beautiful day as well. So uh, why would anybody want to go inside? And, uh, yeah, although that dungeon, I can't see anymore, but that dungeon does have a nice little um, background story to it that I find uh, interesting. Um, so I might do it um, later on. Uh, but now I'm just going to make a stop uh, into the Imperial City just real quick. I, more specifically the Market District because I want to do some really quick shopping. And uh, you might be thinking, well, how am I supposed to buy stuff with, uh, how much do I have? 26 gold, right? Well, um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I did some very um, specific looting uh, back when I was inside the tutorial. But I, that shouldn't uh, prevent me from, uh, you know, getting the basics that I need in order to, uh, ad you know, prepare myself for adventuring. And that's basically what I'm going to do in the uh, Imperial City. Uh, what I'm looking for right now is a uh, an alchemist shop. Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, I think I remember. Uh, the Gilded Carafe, I think. Where is that? Should be this way, I think. And this defense and yeah, get a little craft. Yep. 
I always like the lighting in this room. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the colors, the reds and the blues. It's very nice. Hello. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Far more than Thorinir would ever have, despite his horrid business ethics. <laughs> Lady, I'm not here for your local drama. I'm just here to shop. Can I interest you in some of my wares? All right. Uh, let's see. Let's haggle a little bit. 45 expert. I should be able to get away with 40%. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip that for now. I'm going to sell rat meat. And uh, right now I'm selling in stacks. It's not necessarily the smartest thing to do if you want to um, get your mercantile skill up. Um, basically, what you wanted to do is to go uh, and sell them individually because like everything else in the Elder Scrolls um, the, for every time you do a successful hit it doesn't matter if you're swinging a sword or casting a spell um, you know every successful hit gives you a point in order to uh, you know level up your uh, your skill whatever that might be and it works the same way with mercantile so, yeah, restore magicka. But since I don't really care about my mercantile skill, it'll go up when it'll go up. Um, you know, I just sell it. It's quicker that way. It feels more like a grind if you do it the other way as well. Especially if you're selling like 36 um, rat meat. It just, you know, because you got to sell them one by a bargain one. bargain at any price. Yeah, of course. Um, so right now I'm just looking for quick ingredients. Um, I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. Of course not. I'm the only one I can chop. I'm um, looking for basic ingredients in order to make um, some potions, healing That's potions, and damage. I wouldn't make that deal uh, with just anybody. Damage health potions. And of course, if I can find some Restore Magicka ingredients, those are always good. Uh, you drive a hard bargain. There you go. That's a little bit expensive. There's health. And I think that's it for now. So, yep. And I'm left with 18 gold. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Bye bye. Good day. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Well, for an Imperial City. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to my, uh, I'm gonna go talk to another NPC. Well met. Hello. Um. This particular NPC, I don't think uh, a lot of people know about him, uh, unless you've played Oblivion extensively. Um, he's my go-to man for specific stuff. I'm yeah. probably not going to go to him too often uh, with this character, because well, basically with what he sells, uh, typically uh, all my characters benefit from uh, uh, what he sells and uh, you'll see in a moment once I get to him and the reason I think not many people know about him is because he's fairly hidden he's, he's not actually in the city uh, you have to go outside to get him mm, yeah you look familiar um, And I think by now some of you might already know who I'm talking about. Uh, we'll just have to see. 